Hey, Adam T here. This is a, another brief tutorial. Uh, in this issue, we're going to be talking about uh, how we can uh, make manual adjustments to uh, clones, MoGraph clones uh, that have textures assigned by a mul MoGraph multi shader. Uh, so, in this case, here's the material over here, cleverly called matte. And uh, you can see there's a multi shader in the material and uh, I just rendered out you know, a whole series of numbers 1 to 100 um, and then imported them into the multi shader with the add from folder function uh, and then the I've got this cloner which is just uh, a linear clone that's twisting up a little bit and stuff and it is um, got a hundred clones for the hundred textures and the textures I have assigned um, via or distributed from the multi shader via a step effector, which is set uh, only to affect color. Um, so you can see, just back it out. This is uh, more or less the whole setup. One blah 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 to a hundred, but. Um, as I'm sure many of you have experienced, there are times when uh, you may have an art director might come in and say, you know what, I like that uh, 0 to 100 sequence, except, you know, where it says 38, you know, that would really be cool if that could say like 89. So, what do you do in that case? I mean, you could, uh, well, there, I mean, there are a bunch of different ways you can go it, about it, um, but one way that I found to be um, pretty uh, flexible is to use a MoGraph uh, MoGraph uh, selection. <laughs> That's the word. So if we go into MoGraph here, and uh, I'm going to select the MoGraph selection thingy, and I will select the clone uh, designated by the number 38. So far, so good. And now, what do we do? So now um, we're going to sort of override the texture that's assigned by the step effector um, by using another effector that's limited to this uh, MoGraph selection. So one thing, you know, the most basic effector you can use, of course, is the plane effector. So I'm going to uh, create a plane effector. And um, after you've created a selection and then you immediately create a an effector it's automatically uh, restricted to that selection so see right here uh, what the plane effector is doing is just affecting position and Y so it's uh, effectively it's just uh, move my clone out of the picture here if I just turn the effector strength down you'll see it'll, it's going back up well that's not what we wanted to do really um, so I'm going to go it up to 100%. Uh, I'm going to go back to parameters. I'm going to uncheck uh, position, and I'm going to turn on color mode. Aha! So now it's basically just applying 100% uh, um, weight to this clone in the color channel. So we now we have the number 100. Uh, well, that's cool. Except we actually wanted the number 89, or you know, just making that up it could be. You know, you might want to be able to change it on the fly and see, you know, check out different looks and see what works best. So, um, a good way to go about that I've found is to assign a uh, fall off to your effector. So, I'm going to, instead of going with the infinite fall off, I'm going to go with the linear fall off. And in this case, I'm going to back out a little bit so I can see where this thing is and the uh, position only matters in this case uh, in Z but I'm just going to move it so it's closer to the clone that we are influencing which I've now lost oh there he is so let's just go over here just to make it easier to um, see what we're doing and then I'm going to go to this side and 
you want to have some you know better sort of gradation you don't want the the uh, numbers jerking all over the place so let's go back into our fall off and it's in Z plus and let's just set it to well okay let me just show you by default what's gonna happen if I once I start moving it this actually might be okay for this number of clones so as I move it out of the fall off it's gonna go basically from where it already was at 38 and then so now if I wanted 89 oh, there's 89 and then once you go past there it's actually gonna well no I have to set it see that's the problem here so it's only I gotta set it to 100% so now once you set it to 100% you're going to go from where it normally would be and then it's going to start getting brighter so the number is going to go up to 100 hmm. so, uh, well, I was doing this before and it was actually going the other way so hang on one sec pause this and see what I'm doing wrong okay my bad <laughs> uh, the problem was that in the uh, in the effectors parameters tab under color mode I had it on default uh, so what it was basically doing is just uh, going from 100% down to the level that it was already at which was uh, represented by 38 so now if you set it to add what's going to happen is as you go towards it it's going to uh, go up to 100 and then whoops then it's actually going to start going back the other way uh, till you get back to where it already was. So you know, in this, it's a little unintuitive because you got to go sort of forward to go one direction and, and uh, beyond it to go back in the other direction. But in any case, you can still get to whatever uh, number or you know texture or shader, or whatever you have in your multi shader uh, that you choose. So and it, you know, if you want to have it a little uh, more control you could just make this wider so you can you know it's just not going to move quite as uh, quickly so in this case we said we we're going to do 89 and there's 89 and of course you know what whatever's in the multi shader can be whatever you want album covers or videos or what have you but this is uh, one way that you can customize uh, however number you know whatever number of clones that you want so I hope that's helpful and uh, you know obviously this same um, this doesn't have to be this method doesn't have to be restricted to uh, the multi shader you can you know as it was originally set up you can affect position or scale or rotation and uh, so it's a pretty uh, handy method uh, for dealing with the whimsies of art directors